Please note that pronunciations of the names in this video are not 100% accurate, as there were no audio files to show how they are correctly pronounced. Before the emergence of countries in their current form, many kingdoms, empires, and civilizations existed in ancient times, such as ancient Egyptian civilization, Persian civilization, Babylonian, Roman, Greek civilization, etc. Naturally, there were relations between these different civilizations, whether hostile relations and wars or friendly relations and alliances. These relationships resulted in each civilization referring to other civilizations in its records in the context of recording important historical events. This raises the question, before the development of modern languages known today and before countries acquired the names by which they are known today, what are the names that ancient civilizations used to give to each other? If we start with the ancient Egyptian civilization, we will find that the ancient Egyptians did not use the name Egypt to refer to their kingdom, but rather referred to it as Kemet or Kumate, which is an ancient Egyptian word meaning the black land in reference to the fertile soil suitable for agriculture on both banks of the Nile River, which was one of the most important factors for the establishment of Egyptian civilization. As for the names that the ancient Egyptians gave to other civilizations, we will find that they called the Semitic peoples neighboring them in West Asia in general the name Amu, and historians believe that this name may refer to the people of the Amorites or the Canaanites in the Levant and the Mesopotamian region. The ancient Egyptians also called the Babylonian Empire Babel and the Persian Empire Pels or Pers, a name derived from the name of the Pars or Parsa region located in southwestern Iran today. It is the region from which the most powerful ancient Persian tribes emerged and from which came the kings who ruled the Persian Empire. It is worth noting that the name of the Pars region is the name from which the name Persia is derived, and it is the name that was used to refer to the Persian Empire over the past centuries. The ancient Egyptians called the ancient Greece mainland Tanayu, while they referred to the islands in the Aegean Sea with the long name, Ayuhuryu Eb Mu Wadwar, which means the islands in the midst of the Great Green. The Great Green was the name used by the ancient Egyptians to refer to the Mediterranean Sea. They called the Arabs in the west of the Arabian Peninsula the name Hagar, which may be taken from the name al Hajj, which is an archaeological area in the northwest of the Arabian Peninsula where powerful Arab tribes lived in ancient times and it was in a strategic location on the trade routes between the Arabian Peninsula, Mesopotamia, the Levant and Egypt. Or according to other experts, this name may be derived from the name Hagar, who according to the book of Genesis was the second wife of Abraham after his first wife Sarah, who bore him his son Ishmael, who is considered the great-grandfather of the Arabs. The ancient Egyptians referred to the people of Israel as Yisrael or Yisrael, and this name is inscribed on the victory plaque of the ancient Egyptian king Merneptah. However, a number of historians and ancient language experts believe that the ancient Egyptian name Yisrael may not refer to the Israeli people, but to the Valley of Jezreel, also known as the Valley of Megiddo in the Levant, in which the famous Battle of Megiddo took place between the Egyptians led by King Thutmose III and an alliance of Canaanite peoples led by the King of Kadesh in the 15th century BC. The ancient Egyptians called the Assyrian Empire Ashwar or Ashur. Ancient India had the name Hindoi, and the Romans had the name Harem or Haruma. And if we move to the ancient Persian civilization, we will find that the ancient Persians did not use the name Persia to refer to their empire, but they used the name Kashasa to refer to it, which is an old Persian word whose literal meaning is simply the empire or the kingdom. Regarding their ancestral homeland in Iran, the ancient Persians referred to it as Arianem, signifying the land of the Aryans. This designation was based on the belief that the Iranian people are descended from the ancient Aryans. During the era of the Sasanian Empire, the land of the Aryans came to be known as Aran, a name that eventually evolved into the present-day name of the nation, Iran. The Persians called Egypt Madraya, and the Babylonian Empire Babarush. Ancient India had the name Hindush. The Assyrian Empire had the name Athora. Ancient Greece had the name Yaona and ancient Rome had the name Harem. The Arabian Peninsula had the name Arabiah. The Assyrians called Egypt Moser, the Babylonians and the Israelis called it Mitzrayim or Mizraim, and the Akkadians called it Misro. The ancient Arabs referred to it as Misr. 
The name Misr continues to be used by contemporary Egyptians to refer to their country until the present day, pronounced as Masr in the Egyptian Arabic dialect. Similarly, variations of the name Misr, or names closely resembling it in pronunciation, are still used to refer to Egypt in the Arab and Islamic world, as well as in several other countries. We may notice that the names given to Egypt by the peoples of the East seem to go back to one common origin, which prompted a number of ancient language experts to develop a theory that these names may go back to the ancient Egyptian word mat, which means wall, impregnable place, or fortress, in reference to the strength of the ancient Egyptian civilization, or its being protected by natural barriers such as vast, scorching deserts, mountains, and rugged lands, which make the process of invading it difficult, especially from the East. And if we move to Western civilizations, we will find that the ancient Greeks called Egypt Aegyptos, a name derived from the original ancient Egyptian name in the late era of the city of Memphis, which is Hot Ka Peta, which means the temple or home of the spirit of the god Peta. With the passage of time and the speed of pronouncing the name, the ancient Egyptians began to pronounce the name Hikopta. With the difficulty of the Greeks pronouncing some of the letters of this name, they changed it to Aegyptos, as we mentioned before, which is the name from which the Arabic word Al-Ket was derived, and it is the name that the Arabs used to refer to the Egyptian people in ancient times. And from it the English word Copse was also derived, particularly referencing to the Egyptian Christians in modern times. It's also the origin of the English name for the country which is Egypt along many other similar names in other languages. As for the Romans, they gave Egypt the name Egyptus, and as is clear, it is derived from the name that the Greeks gave to Egypt, and it does not differ much from it. The ancient Greeks called the Persian Empire the name Persis, while the Romans called it Persia. Both names are derived from the name of the Pars region or Parsa in the Persian Empire, which we mentioned before. But how did it become possible to know all these names about ancient civilizations? In fact, all of these names are recorded in the form of inscriptions on the walls of a number of temples, tombs, and monumental statues in some countries. For example, the names given by the ancient Egyptians to the ancient civilizations neighboring them is found in an inscription on both sides of the base of a statue made in Egypt for the Persian king Darius the Great, or as the ancient Egyptians called him, King Dirausch. This inscription below the statue contains the names of 24 of the nations that the Persians were able to conquer and control, written in the ancient Egyptian language in hieroglyphics. As for the names given by the ancient Persians to Egypt and other civilizations, they are found written in ancient Persian in cuneiform letters on the walls of an archaeological site located in Iran called the Nakshi Rostam site. Likewise, the name given to Rome by the ancient Egyptians, which is Harem or Harem, is written in hieroglyphics on the Barberini obelisk in Rome, Italy, which dates back to the era of the Roman Emperor Hadrian. As for the name that the Babylonians gave to Egypt, which is Mitzrayim, it was found on the inscriptions found on the Ishtar Gate in the ancient Babylonian monuments in Iraq.